Hey, it's Murray. I got three really cool tricks to impress your teachers and your students at home. Eat an apple. Check this out. Take a big bite on it. Just like that. Show your hand empty. Go like this. Rub it. Get a brand new apple for a teacher. Just like that. So here's how you do it. Uh, you get a regular apple, buy two. All right, get a normal apple, don't touch it. Get a second apple, all right? And what you do is you cut a piece off the apple <clears throat> like that, see? And then slice just the white part of the apple like that. And it breaks easy, so be careful with it. And just a thin piece, it's a little too thick. But what it does is actually sticks to the apple, just like that. From a distance, looks like you actually bought a bit into the actual apple. So what you do is you have a piece of apple in your mouth, you hold like this. You're talking to somebody. You turn the apple. Put your hand over this way. You turn. You kind of block the edges so you don't show the edge. So you turn like that. From a distance, people think you actually bit into the apple. Take your hand, show it empty, and then just pull a piece right off the apple. Just take it right off like that. Wipe it off. And now it comes back to that. And you show the whole apple completely normal. We also have to do something fun to try at home. So good luck. All right. So we got uh, Crayola crayons, a regular box of eight crayons. You can, you can actually see them in there. Just them all. All right, regular crayons. You close the box up, put the uh, little flap on, of course. You show them here. You can see that. They're all really there. Nothing in my hand. Check this out. One, two, three. Gone. Just like that. Maybe don't the flap so you actually see it. It's really actually. All right, here's how you do it. Very simple. You take um, a regular box, buy, you can buy one box, I say buy two. And here's what you do, all right? You uh, take the box and you make this, all right? Take all the crayons out and you actually cut the bottoms off all the crayons. So it looks like this. These little pieces are just very small. And there's, you have the bottoms right here. So you cut them all off. And you can either use a knife, snap them down, or take a scissors, whatever you want. Then line them all up. The easiest way is you just Flatten them out. You can actually use a flat edge. So you take the tops and flatten them. Then run a piece of tape right across like that, straight down. And you roll it around the side, flip them over, roll it again. And I did it a couple times, so they're pretty solid. All right? Then in your box, here's the regular box. It has a photograph of the actual crayon. Some do actually have crayons that show through some boxes. This one doesn't happen to have it. So what you do is you just take a little, little exacto knife uh, or scissors, whatever's easier, and you just cut out a window. So there's the window. That's what it looks like. So you just take that. Right out, cut it out. So now you got yourself a little box. Now what happens is you take this, and you slide it in, like so, and that sits in there. Put them in, and you close it up. Now, here's what you do. They slide back and forth. See, that's how they disappear. See, if you watch, that's how they go. But now what happens is, as soon as you have them here, you pinch the box, so now they don't go anywhere. That's the reason, they don't slide. Now, the cool thing is you can hold it here, you open up the lid, and you actually show all the crayons are in there. So to them, they're in there. You close up the top, just like so. Hold them, and keep, do not let go of the pressure, right? You can switch hands, but when you're here, make sure it's really clean, show nothing in this hand. You don't have to really grab them hard, just put your hand in front so it covers it. When you do that, you release these, just like that, and they slide down, check it out, like that. And then you come up, and of course, they're gone. And the cool thing with this is, you can actually open the flap, and the cool thing, you can do this, and then keep pinching it, because they're down here now. You can shake them out, so there's nothing there. That's it. Here's something I'm going to do with a regular binder, school binder, quarter, place that right on top of there. If you're watching, see on top of the binder, right? Check this out. Here we go. One, two, three. Come on, just go back like that, like that. And if you look really carefully, there it is trapped inside the actual binder. All right, here's how you do it. You get a regular binder has to have a clear case uh, on the front of it, so you can actually put stuff in there, so it's clear. What you do is you get two coins. Take one coin, and before the performance, you actually slide it into the binder, so it's stuck in there. All right, you center it, just like so. Here we go. And it moves around. Just make sure it doesn't bevel too much. Kind of, you know, find one that's got a really flat surface so it can slide. You hide that underneath your right or left hand, whether your right hand or left, somebody sees that, so it's just like that. And there's your regular quarter, so that sits on top. And the way this works is you slide it back and forth. And you can actually slide into your left hand and release this one to slide out. 
But I kind of like to do it in the same hand. It's not as easy because the pressure, but if you go back and forth and grab it and you do it, slide it, and you release the other one, you'll notice that that's the other one. And you take this one and slide it right off. And now it's trapped right behind. And believe it or not, the slower you actually do it, the easier it is. So don't do it too fast, just do it nice and smooth, so. So since you've been uh, watching this far along, I got a bonus trick for you with a ruler. Check this out, you're in school, you got a ruler, even in your office if it's uh, some adults watching. Check this out, put it in your wrist like this, grab it really tight. Now if you watch very carefully, watch this. Watch, 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 hold it and bam. Kinda cool, huh? Grab it, regular ruler, just like So here's how you actually do it, very simple. You can either take two rulers or something else that's flat. It could be a popsicle stick. I'm using right here a knife, all right? Now don't cut yourself, be careful with this. Make sure it's a dulled out knife or a piece of wood or another ruler, anything that fit here. Now if you don't have a watch, you can use an elastic band or one of those wristbands or anything that fits tight around your wrist and you actually slide it right in there like that so it holds it. So I'm just using a regular blunt, or actually not blunt, dull, kind of kitchen knife like that. So it sits there to know we can see it because it's my arm, see? And I take the knife and I pretend to grab it like this, lift it away, and then what I do is when I come back in, I slide it between my hand and the knife and I grab it again. Just make sure when you grab it, this doesn't slide down here or go up so it'll show to the audience. You grab it really tight and then center it and then straighten out this hand, but don't let go of this hand yet until it's really tight because the pressure of this knife against your palm will actually hold the actual ruler in place. So you hold it like this and like this and go watch and go like that. And that's how it looks, just like that. And then you can slide it out again, like so, or pull it down, whatever's easier for you, like that. You can still close your hand comfortably like that. Just don't cut yourself, be very careful. And that's it. So hopefully these tricks made your day a little bit more enjoyable and school go a little bit quicker. Also, don't get in trouble by your teachers by doing this when you're supposed to be learning, all right? Do it at uh, recess, lunch, and when you're not gonna get in trouble. But enjoy yourself. If you like the video, like, subscribe to my channel, and check for weekly uploads every single week right here. Until next time, I'm gone.